Hi everyone and welcome back to another video with your girl Polly Girl Budgets NZ. Let's do this. If this is your first time here, welcome. Welcome to Polly Budgets World. If you keep coming back because you're loyal, thank you so much besties. I really, really appreciate the support and the love. And if you're randomly clicked on, I hope you find something beneficial in this. My name is Kay for you who don't know me. I am a 30 year old budgeter, cash stuffer, financial explorer based in New Zealand, Aotearoa. The reason why I've taken up cash stuffing is because I get paid fortnightly. I get paid on a Wednesday. By Friday, I'm normally broke, next to broke, or about to be broke. I looked into this at the beginning of April. These are just my personal perspectives on my financial budgeting and my financial journey. This is by no means financial advice. So if you're keen to hear me talk, because I tend to talk quite a bit, um, stay tuned. If you haven't joined the fam already, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and subscribe down the bottom. Or if you want to check out any of my social media platforms, just up on the right or down in the description box. Today's a big day for me because it is moving day. And no, I don't mean out of my house. I mean out of my binders, my first ever binders that I started with. I made the decision a couple months ago that I would change the binders up. That was pretty much it. Um, and today, after months of just looking, thinking about what I wanted to do and planning my new binders, we are doing that. It is a big day for me because I feel like it's a milestone for me. Just looking back at my envelopes while I was writing my new envelopes just made me realise how far I've come. So if this sounds like a video you're interested in, um, I hope you stay along. I thought about how I was going to do this video because I don't want to bore you guys and I normally do already with my stories. What I decided to do first is we will be doing a cash stuffing, but not in this part. We're going to go through our current binders and I'm going to introduce you guys to my new binders when we go to that binder. We'll do it in the order that I would normally do it when I'm cash stuffing. So this is my um, weekly binder. It's the extension of my main wallet. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out any money that's in these envelopes we'll put it into the new envelopes and then once that's done for all binders we'll move on to the cash stuffing portion of this video to introduce you guys to my new binder I decided to go with the croc theme because on my cash wallet it's my new extension of my main wallet so we're going to open this up I decided to change up and go with laminated um envelopes at first i wasn't going to go with them i was going to just stick to my zip ones but I wanted to have a try at them myself. I wanted to have a go at them myself. So I figured, sorry, I'm just going to show you without the flash. Over here, I have my good old budgeting binder. Um, and I've already written them out in their new categories. Um, just so that when I move over the money, I'm not getting confused. All of these, um, of course, you don't need this many pens. It's a little bit excessive, but Kmart has some really good stuff. Um, and like literally these pens were $2 for a pack of 10. These pens were $3 for a pack of 10. The highlighters I think were $3. So, you know, it's a little bit excessive. Will I use all of them? Probably not. I might need a roster so that I know which pens I'm using. But if anyone's interested, Kmart. Good old Kmart. Groceries has nothing. So I decided that I'm going to change my envelope for my nannies to little ladies. And they still have $20 in there. So we're just going to move it over. This is pretty much how they look. We've got a rose gold peekaboo. And then the backing at the back is just a pink metallic as well. Beauty had nothing. Um, family time. Has $10. I'm so sorry. I haven't asked how yous are. I'm so rude. It's been really crazy. I hope everyone's been well. Uh, I'm filming the week after our family events and our family funerals. Um, so yeah, it's, it, this is very late. This video is very late. I am very aware. But thank you guys for still showing me love and showing me support while I was out doing other things and attending to my family. Um, this video is going to be very long, so I'm going to try hurry it up. Okay, this is a new envelope. It's called Me and You. Um, why I named this Me and You is because I was actually singing um, Tree and Swiss's song Me and You great song if you want to listen to it but it was just another reason to call an envelope something else besides date night or anything so this is just for me and my partner so this has nothing in it because obviously it's new mr wim so mr wim and this one has got 20 dollars i'm just gonna move that over i don't know if you guys wanted to see this so i will split this video into two because i don't know if you guys actually care for this that much but i mean if you do it's up but if not the cash stuffing video is just there home maintenance so this is a new envelope i did have quite a few 
in this one. They had different names, but home maintenance is now in this envelope. These are just my original sizes for my envelopes, so I just keep them at the back. But that is it for the extension of the main wallet. I'm keeping all of these because I feel like I'll eventually go back to them. Um, obviously not anytime soon. I want to see how the laminated ones work out, but I am definitely going to keep these um, just in case I do want to go back to them. Ah, there's one gone. Now we're going to go with our high priority binder. The binder that I have for it is probably one of my favourites and I will probably be looking at getting in quite a few of these um, just because I do really love the aesthetic. My new high priority binder this one is just a marble beautiful grey chose to print rose gold on this binder itself just because it would make the difference in this binder. I decided to go marble on marble. At first I thought it would be too much but I actually really really love the way this ended up looking. That is the, the little keychain that is on this binder. Because it is my high priority binder, I did decide that this one will have just something different from me flicking through. I'm pretty sure that you guys already saw that. I have some new envelopes in here. I'm just switching to a blue pen. A new envelope debt snowball. I've decided that I want to make an envelope and try and pay extra to my debt. So that's the reason for this one. Um, I've moved utilities from my sinking funds into here. So I'm going to quickly grab the utilities envelope and take out the money in here so utilities has 2040 and i'm going to put in here um these envelopes again are um peekaboo style family home this was the envelope that was under steven which was also in sinking funds i do not think from memory i think we used it because family did come over so that one has been used there's nothing in there so it's now in my high priority because I do want to make sure that I've always got something in here um just for everyone at home car maintenance so this was called toothless this is our first envelope toothless had nothing in it so that's totally fine um and I've also decided to start a car maintenance mini challenge um but the reason why I've decided to do it like this is because at the end of it I would have saved 500 but my car's up to date, the WAF's done, the Vedro's done, servicing's done on it. I could slowly save up towards the $500 goal. And this is a good way as well, challenges like this, is a good way to start saving or budgeting because you can always change the amount that you could stuff in depending on how you financially are. For example, if you have stuffed all your cash envelopes and you see that you've got a bit of money left, you can pay the $52 off. Or if it's a tight week because you've got all this extra stuff going on, you could pay $5 or $8. Like it's such a great idea. Um, so I will be incorporating more of these but this is the first one that I've got in here and here I've also got polygirl budgets now this is going to be my business envelope I won't use it extensively that's why I haven't got it in its own folder but I do want to have an envelope ready for it when I do things like posting out um, orders buying vinyl anything like that looking at stock it's just going to be in here so that is a new envelope cash emergency so we have that in here so vacations no longer in my high priorities you'll see it in my sinking funds cash emergency has got nothing so next one our emergency funds let's see how much we got in here we've got 50 60 70 80 so we're just going to add the 80 dollars into the emergency fund and i'll also update my little tracker that i've got at the back i've also got to update on my emergency funds and what i'm going to be looking at doing but we'll do that in the cash stuffing section so savings okay guys i'm gonna tell you guys i'm really quite annoyed with this envelope and it's you know i love the design i love everything but you know how sometimes you're like don't do it it's fine it looks beautiful blah 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 so my mind was telling me that but i was like no it's i didn't like how long this end was so i went and cut it and then this morning i noticed it's starting to open a little bit so obviously i cut the laminating gap that sits around the paper and now it's starting to split so i will probably have to make this again um or I will just chuck it in a laminating sheet and run it through and see if that works. But yeah, so it's already split. But that was because of me and fiddling with things. I should have left it alone. Anyway, that was another side story that probably nobody asked for. But thank you for listening. Okay, so in savings we have got 20, 40, 60, 80, 150. So we got $150 in savings, which is great. This is a new envelope as well. Uh, baby savings. So... It's not an actual baby. Um, this is actually my partner's savings envelope. I asked him, does he have a name that he wants me to put in? And he said, that's up to you. And I told him what I'm going to name it. And he just 
seen it so I was like okay cool I didn't have a great fancy name to change it to I just put baby savings um and this is a new envelope and I'll discuss it in the cash stuff our next one is our challenges so my challenge envelopes are different because for example baby savings has got the peekaboo but it's also got the marble on the back I decided to do my challenges in here but I wanted them to still look different I didn't want them to look exactly the same so I just did the clear peekaboo no backing in these ones in these envelopes and yeah, I still think they turned out really pretty. All my challenges are going to be in these type of envelopes from now on. Now mini challenge. Mini challenge will always be my winter or my season challenge. So we have got the winter mini challenge going in there. We still have a couple of weeks until September. So let's go ahead and give this account 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 35. So we've got 135 here. And we're going to put that in with its little tracker and once it rolls over to the spring challenge which I will probably introduce in our next cash stuffing video not this one because this one's already going to be too long I will just pull this out and use the same envelope so that's why I just wrote mini challenge so that I'm not having to go and print every single time I'm doing a season challenge so that's that one polygirl budgets I will be taking out this tracker I'm still deciding if it goes behind or in front of it. It's decided, car maintenance decided it, that it goes behind. So I'm going to put that in there and we're going to move out any money that was sitting in it. So we've got 5, 10, 15, 20, which should be, should be 4, 3, 4, that is correct. So that is going to go in here too. Um, so yeah, so that's that one. And then last but not the least, we have our Christmas challenge now. Update on this, I have decided that I'm not going to go through with our original challenge that we had which was the $84 every fortnight and the reason being is because I am going to be looking at it just like the car maintenance one so I'll be printing out something that totals about, um, that totals 600 because realistically the $84 will not work for me so um, just with my budget so I will be looking at just keeping it pretty much similar to the car maintenance where depending on the week um, I can put an X amount and for me I just think it's me being realistic about this journey I didn't want to drop it off completely Christmas is still an important time for me and my family but I really don't want to struggle so I'll be looking at it doing a challenge that's about 600 five to 600 and um, that will go in here so that is my high priority binder done like my pink binder I am keeping it um, just in case I do go back to it so high priority binder done Okay guys, last but not least, we have got our sinking funds binder and it looks like it may be a little bit empty because there's money out of it with our family things but also we've just taken out money because I've reshuffled all my envelopes. So my last binder is my sinking funds binder. It's just a checkered one. Again, I've gone with the rose gold. I really just wanted a white grey bones through all of them so i have got my poly girl budgets again on it these are my ghost envelopes so they are made from laminate as always but they have a frost appearance just like so i really really guys you have no idea how obsessed i am with this one i don't really know if i'm going to be selling these envelopes cleared out internet this is no longer going to exist Steven, we've already moved out. Subscriptions has got nothing, so that's this one. So it's fine. We'll go into the next one. Events has got $30 in it, so we're going to move that one over. I'm just going to be quiet so we can appreciate this beautiful moment together because these are honestly some of my favorite envelopes. Look at that. You can still see the money in there. And then look at the back. Still can see it in there. What's not to love? Gifts has also got $30 in it. How could you not love these? They are just so beautiful. Funeral contribution is back here. So this has 20 in it. We will continue to swap the pen around. Health has got 25 in it. Home Deco and Furniture is a new one, so I did have maintenance, 
which was anything to do with the house but um yeah it's now turned into home decor and furniture i've also put vacation in here because i will be creating a challenge for vacation and turn it into a singing fun we'll look at starting that soon girls night out was originally in the weekly folder it has moved into the sinking funds and the last one is unplanned unplanned is for the unexpected the unknown it may be called miscellaneous in your folders but that is pretty much it for this okay and this binder was my very very first binder it took nearly two months to get here but when it got here oh my gosh it was like one of the best days of my life so ready guys there we have it we have officially finished our moving out and we are now in our new binders guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video this is just part one so if you want to see me actually cash stuffing into these folders stay tuned but for those of you who made it through all my stories and just me changing them over thank you so much for still staying on i hope you guys have a great week and i will talk to you guys soon bye